Hey guys, what's going on? And I was still uh, continuing with my rank matches. And I'm playing a guy who has a really similar record to me. And he's running a Wesker, uh, Trish, and Akuma. Uh, not so much a different team when I was used to running uh, Wesker. Just uh, instead of my inside of Trish, I'd had Doom. Now, Wesker's got a Wesker's got a lot of problems when he's got to deal with an opponent with with uh, projectiles. And so having both Doctor Doom and Deadpool on my side, it's I honestly have no fear against any Wesker because if you look. Um, he really needs an assist type character that are going to match him for projectiles in order for him to kind of beat me out of it. Because in a sense, there's not much he can do, and I know I was getting in the combo, and I swore to myself that I pressed uh, the heavy because it, really, it was really obvious that that was coming, but maybe I should have spammed it more. Um, nonetheless, he's got a lot of, he's got, I don't know if this, uh, if, uh, if a hard tagging like that was a good idea. Um, if I didn't mess up my combo, Akuma would have literally only 100,000 he uh, health left, um, assuming I don't DHC. Now, it doesn't look like he's too mobile with him. I don't really understand what kind of game he was trying to play at this point, but that was a little too high, and I could have easily just done the regular hyper off the ground, but I actually wanted to build a little bit of meter, that's why I jumped up and did that. Um, I hate playing Trish. I mean, the majority of the time, people just jump in the air and just dive kick and just abuse the easy fundamentals of the game. Like, I don't understand. I mean, either way, uh, she doesn't have that much health to kind of balance it. But I hope to see real Trish players soon because I'm tired of seeing uh, the common people, whether it's Spencer. They just super jump in the air, dive down with the with the rope, with the bionic arm that he could use. No bionic arm, sorry. He just ropes down with his arm. Trish just super jumps in the air and just dive kicks down. Or even even like lame Akuma players they just jump in the air and dive kick down. The problem is, is that because they get so much priority, like especially Wolverine, they super jump in the air, just dive kick, and anything can happen from there. It's so easy to you know do this and do that. Kind of, it's kind of stupid. It's, it's, it, it, it gets pretty stupid. The, the type of balance when it comes to the fundamentals, because if you don't have a dive kick, you're at a weakness. And if you can fly, if you don't, if you can't fly, you're at a weakness also. And you gotta have something good to balance that. And luckily, at least one of my characters has a dive kick. But I choose to go with the more DHC uh, friendly teams because. I choose what appeals to me and not what is, you know, top tier, I guess I could say. Um, so it seems that we're starting to see the Japanese players jumping up uh, and using Phoenix. Um, no surprise there. I mean, I guess you can't really get mad at them because if you saw a bunch of American players uh, or North American players being Phoenix, everybody hates on them. In, J in Japan, nobody's hating on anybody, no matter what they use. I mean, it's the whole pride system there is different. They, they face who you're gonna face, and whatever it is is how it is. No one bitches like they do here. But it seems that it's obvious now that the whole tagging in strategy is so much harder to fight to face when trying to face a Phoenix team than playing any other type of game. I mean, think about that fundamental. You literally have to change your whole game plan just because you see the phoenix there and if you don't deal with her you gotta figure out what you're gonna do when they have the five meters so everything changes but who knows i mean it's still a viable strategy that when she has the five meters you just tag her in anyways and just chip her away because nobody ever wants to use x-factor while they don't have dark phoenix out so if you keep bringing her out and chipping her and blah 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 and you force them to have dark phoenix and just do it like that who knows but Getting snapping combos is a lot harder than than anybody might think, and coming from some Japanese players, yeah. I mean, it was even when Martin even talked about the Clockworks Phoenix, where you snap in like one or two times, and that's all you're gonna do. Why, why continue to even try going further? Because it's it's like it's like bringing in a regular character, which he is a regular character. So, but this turns out for these two ranked matches, and I hope you guys enjoy them. See you guys next time.